Welcome to WBTV's Good Question. Alex Giles here, joined by my colleagues Jess Dyer and Jamie Bull from WBTV in studio. Good to see you guys. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have an interesting question that we were kind of diving into this week, talking about the traffic signals in Charlotte or uh-huh. the traffic lights, why they are where they are, and how exactly they work. Because, Jamie, I don't think a lot of people really realize, I know I didn't, exactly how traffic lights work and what triggers them. Right. And is there a, like a way for me to, like, file a complaint and maybe get something changed, <laughs> you know? We all have that one thing, right? Somewhere in our commuter, our daily lives, we're like, why is this left a turn signal? I got, like, literally one car got through and it turned yellow. <laughs> that happens to me a lot, by the way. This one particular one. Ballantyne Commons Parkway, turning left uh, onto North Community oh House. And I'm serious. It's like, literally, you're in the left-hand turn lane. One car gets through and it turns yellow. Who's doing this? I need answers. We have figured out what the hot question <laughs> issue Good is question. for Jamie Bull. We know what <laughs> triggers Jamie Bull now. Head down to Valentine. Uh, but Jess, I was just saying, before we started recording this, there's that intersection right by our studios in West Charlotte uh-huh. where you can get caught at a red light sometimes, like late at night. And I've sat at that red light for, I, I swear it's at least two and a half minutes. And you're trying to figure out what's going on here. And there's you don't, no cars. There's no cars. Right. There's no mm-hmm. traffic coming. You're like, why, why can I not drive across the street? And so mm-hmm. I, I feel like this is one of those things where you really don't think about <laughs> the intricacies of, of traffic signals and traffic lights until you're in a position until where you're, you're waiting forced for to two think minutes. About right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then you try to figure out, right, is this one of those where I think vehicles trigger the light change? Yeah. Or is this one of those that doesn't do that? And why doesn't it do, you know, the one that you want yeah. <laughs> at the time? So, yeah. I can only imagine the engineers trying to figure this out, though. is uh, It's pretty complicated. <laughs> exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. Jess, you said you, you had heard from people who had asked about this before, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, I mean, it came up when I was sitting at a traffic light because you're sitting there waiting, and you're like, why is this red for so long? Um, and it's really interesting because you start thinking about it, and you're like, huh. And I, I mean, I have my own traffic lights that I drive through, and you get used to it, and I even notice some of them, like the schedules change for them. Depending on the time of day, too, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like the timing of them. Yeah. And you can tell who lives around there because you see the yep. people who go flying as soon as it turns green. Yep. Yep. It's, uh, it's an interesting topic, and it's something you don't think about every day. But this week, we talked to Nathan Connor. He's from the city of Charlotte. He works with the traffic engineers, and he was able to explain how a lot of this works. And I definitely learned some new information about how the traffic signals work and how they decide where they go. And, Jamie, he talked about (laughs) your question. What do you do if you think a change needs to be made? And he addressed that. So, Can I get his email? Because I got this one intersection. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know about that, but I'll explain how you can reach out to the city. Guys, thank you for 